Hey guys, it's Greg from Gentle Giant. How's it going? Anyhow, um, yeah, our new line right here. You guys know Gentle Giant. We're known for what? Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Now Marvel. Now Marvel. Marvel is, Marvel is huge this year. Oh my gosh, Marvel is going big. Uh, the Kenner Star Wars line. Um, in the 10 years of the company, we have never done one thing, and that is launch our own unique individual intellectual property, something that we only answer to ourselves on. And you know what? A, couple, a little while ago, we said, that won't do. We're getting to the point now where we've got such talented people, such creative artists, that we wanted to come up with something completely original. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Honey Trap. Inspired by the idea of hot chicks with big guns, yes, it really is as simple and as base as that on the surface, uh, we decided to do a new line of statues uh, with our own unique characters. These are all original characters. I bring you Fireball, Katya, Derby, Whisper, and Lucky. These are the first five characters of what's going to be hopefully a very long and successful line with its own unique universe and actually stories that we get to tell ourselves for once. Uh, this is uh, this is something that we're very excited. We wanted to reveal the girls to you now, or some of the girls, because there will be more. Uh, and we're going to start telling the story through the HoneytrapArmy.com website uh, and also through uh, you know through the development of these characters and as the universe evolves. We are also looking to branch out into comic books, movies, TV, I don't know. I mean, we would love to find a more mainstream way to tell the story, but in order to create this universe and get it established, we wanted to do it in the best way that we knew how. And that was by bringing you guys some quality, quality decoration. So, some of these have, like, steam from, like, Oh yeah, we're actually over there. I can see warriors in the hat off and everything else is just gone. Warriors? Doctor No? Predator, <laughs> Bullet, and for the love of God, I can't remember what Kai is based on, but she's very much a Yakuza kind of, kind of feel to her. But each one of these girls has kind of got a subtle nod to popular guy action movies. You know, uh, Dr. No, Whisper for Dr. No, I just, I love that. I love the connection. You know, and it's just, uh, we wanted to bring strong female characters, uh, just badass characters, and, and really start telling some fun stories with them. And, you know, right now, uh, right now, what you're seeing is, you know, really attractive character, really big guns, but there's going to be a really cool universe that we're going to build around these guys and have them as the centerpiece, and it's going to be really exciting for us to see how this plays out. And the reaction already, Levi and I have only been going for about two hours now, the reaction's already been huge. You know, uh, Kevin Dart, actually, the artist Kevin Dart, did all the original artwork for these uh, in, in the, some of the 2D stuff that we put out, and he's awesome. Uh, so I'm happy that we get to show, show off some of his uh, concept work. Uh, or some of the artwork that he did based on our concepts. And, uh, and, and yeah, and then bring you some of these statues. I mean, uh, the guys that we work with are, these are all out of the minds of our artisans of Gentle Giant. You know, we decided to let them cut loose and see what they could come up with, and this is, uh, this is what they brought. And man, is it awesome. Is there a timeline when these will start coming out and a price point? Uh, the price point has not been set yet. Timeline is soon. I can't reveal anything more than that right now. But take a look at HoneytrapArmy.com and keep an eye on that as we uh, unveil more information about each of these. So next thing I want to show off to you guys is our Darth Maul statue. Now this is not just your usual statue that we're doing, but inspired by the size and scope of the Colossal Samurai, we decided to do a Star Wars piece equal in epic scope and scale. So we bring you Darth Maul from the Clone Wars in full arachnid awesomeness. Now as you know, in the, uh, he, he was bisected at the end of Phantom Menace, and in the Clone Wars they decided to bring him back. And when you first see him, he has constructed for himself, using the, the dark side of the force, this spider torso, this arachnid torso. And uh, oh boy, have our guys gone over the top and making sure that the details on this thing are amazing. Uh, it took uh, four of our painters, uh, I believe almost three days, to get this guy done, working around the clock to get him done in time for the show. So it was intense. And they, they really outdid themselves. The level of detail on this piece, this is going to be, you know, we want this to be what the final piece looks like as well, so, you know. Is there a potential for a companion piece, maybe Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting him, or a Savage Opress? Ah, uh, you know, we never, we, we, we never discount anything when we're coming up with a piece. We always think about ways to, you know, to incorporate other parts of the universe into each one. So yeah, companion piece is not out of the question at all.
Marvel line is uh, spiking in popularity right now. A lot of people are really into Marvel comics, uh, and I think a lot of these pieces are going to get to be even more collectible now that they've announced the uh, the Marvel Now reboot coming up. So uh, we've got from the Avengers movie, we've got our deluxe Iron Man. Uh, it's a light up bust. Unfortunately, the prototype on display here does not do that, but it will be a light up bust. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'd only seen the 3D renderings, I'd only seen the concept art for this thing, and I thought it looked really cool. Then I saw it in, in the studio one day as they finished it, and I was just like, oh my gosh, it's incredible. This is one that I'm like, honey, uh, I have to call my wife and be like, honey, I'm bringing this one home. And there's nothing you can say about it, because wow, it's awesome. And we've got, of course, our Hulk minibus. This is the first time we prepared him. I thought that our previous Hulk bust and our Iron Man bust uh, were huge pieces. And then I saw this puppy. Mini bust is a complete misnomer for this piece. This is not, that is not an accurate way to describe this thing. This is a gigantic bust. I mean, you can club somebody to death with that thing. It's huge. Huge! And of course, uh, we, we, we worked really hard to make sure that Mark Ruffalo's likeness was, uh, was preserved. Uh, up and down here, we've got our Hawkeye minibus. One of the details that I think keeps getting overlooked in our Hawkeye bus is the fact that he actually comes with removable arrows from his quiver, and they all have the different tips that he typically travels with. The incendiary, the flare, the bolo bus, the razor bus, yeah, and the stun and the stun arrow. Just yeah. And we can actually swap in and out which one you want to have on display knocked in his bow at any given time. Which I think is a fun feature for that piece. Uh, we've got our Venom minibus, which we're revealing here. You know, and I just the detail on it is sick. I, I just I love our minibus, and just the detail on it is spectacular. Moon Knight, of course, is a recent announcement from us. Uh, I know he's a little bit old due to the news now, but we want to take the opportunity to show him off to collectors at large. Uh, and then beneath him, of course, we've got our Deadpool minibus, which is a regular, regular release. Our Lady Deadpool, which is an AFX exclusive. And then we've got the Deadpool core box set, which includes Dogpool, Headpool, Squirrelpool, who was our contribution to the Marvel Universe, and uh, Kidpool, and the Deadpool accessory weapon pack. You can take all these extra guns and strap them to Deddy and make them look even more intimidating and awesome, as if uh, two, two guns, a uh, uh, shit ton of grenades, and uh, a couple of katanas didn't make him look scary enough already. Now you can strap, strap a bazooka and a couple of high-powered machine guns to him, too. You know? Nothing like a little bit of overkill. Back to Star Wars. This is what everybody, this is the bread and butter we know that you guys at GGC like, is the Star Wars line. Uh, I'm excited to say that we're going to continue our 7 inch statue line with the uh, Darth Malak to go with your Darth Malagus and your Shea Vizsla. Uh, Darth Malak, awesome piece. What I love about our guys is that they not only capture the detail of our pieces, but they really, really nail the personality and the spirit of the characters. You know, these pieces have attitude. They're not only accurate, but they have attitude. And I think that's one of the most fun parts about our pieces here at General Giant. Uh, and then uh, continue our line of animated maquettes. This is something that a lot of you guys at GGC have been asking for for a while now. It's a continuation of the of the animated maquettes. Uh, the scout trooper with Ewok, or uh, uh, getting attacked by Ewoks. I think it's just funny. And then we've got our sand trooper on Dubag animated maquette. I, you know, I, I love, this is another large scale piece for us, and I just love the scope of it, you know, and, and the anime style. I, and they have style, they've got personality, and, you know, this is very much inspired by the what if they did, uh, you know, the, like the, the Clone Wars animated miniseries they did a while ago. This is very much uh, inspired, you know, in that anime style. Uh, what if they did the entire original trilogy like that? And I'd love to see that. What I really like about it is it kind of gives, like, uh, motions to the do-back. He's not yeah. just like some dumb beast. Like, oh, so, you know, he's, he's you, you see intelligence he's in those got, eyes. Yeah, he's yeah. got curiosity. Yep. And then, uh, continuing on with our collectible bookend, we've got the ad ad bookend. I, I, I love I love our bookends. I know our collectors do too. I think these are just fun. You know, when you get to be creative, when you get to do something a little outside the box, and split a walker in half and use it to uh, to hold up your 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 favorite Star Wars novels. It's perfect. You know. Now to the bread and butter, the mini busts. I reveal to you Drippy McCool, Sai Snoodles, and believe it or not, by popular demand, Jar Jar Binks. And then we got, of course, finally people are getting to see the Rebel Fleet Trooper, which is something that we weren't able to show off for a little while, but now we are the Rebel Fleet Trooper PGM gift. W. Wald is a new reveal for us here at Comic Con as well. He's actually come packed in with the piece that we're going to reveal tomorrow. And you don't want to tell us what that is? I can, I cannot <laughs> tell you that it's going to be our holiday piece yet, no. But W. Wald will come packed in with our holiday piece for this year. Nice. And I will also tell you right now that the holiday piece is going to be a variant of one of the pieces that you see on display here now. 
So, yeah. That's that. I, that's the most I can say about that at the moment. And when will that one be revealed? Uh, it'll be sometime tomorrow. I don't have an exact time okay. yet. Uh, we <laughs> the Santa hat, me, the scaled yeah. Santa hat, was not done on time, so we are waiting. We are waiting for that to get shipped down from Burbank. So it should be here tomorrow. So yeah, you know, it's the little details. We want to make sure that everything is right before we show some off. Uh, security droid was a recent reveal, um, and of course that's gonna have a sound chip embedded in it, just like the battle droid did. Uh, the Republic Commando light up bust. We finally get to show this one off. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about that one for a long time. I'm so glad we finally get to reveal it and you know share it with y'all. Hand Numb is another mini bus we got coming up that people are really excited about. Is he a new sculpt or is he repainted? He's from? a new sculpt. Okay. He is a new sculpt, and that's part of um, that's part of the reason why it took so long to be able to reveal him was that you know originally it was kind of planned that it would be a repaint, but then there was so much there were so many people that wanted something new that we were like. No, we're not going to short change people. We're going to do something new. So the concept changed a little bit, which is why we had to go back and redo it. Uh, and uh, we wanted to get the questions that they wanted. You know, they didn't. We did. They they didn't want to take the cheap and easy route. So we did. We wanted to do uh, the community. If you're going to be a premier gold member, you deserve it. That's our thought. And then Reese is a deluxe bust. It actually comes with an interchangeable hand, one with blaster, one without. He carries the blue milk with him wherever he goes, though. Blue milk is delicious. Yeah, he hits that blue milk a little hard. We, we actually have to sit down and talk with him. He's, we're going to put him in Blue Milkaholics Anonymous. So, I can't believe I just made that joke. That was terrible. <laughs> I am sorry. All right. Some of our lovely ladies. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you, ladies. Hi! From the expanded universe, I'll bring you the Death Trooper. I know this is something that people have uh, already, I hope most of you guys already have it on pre-order. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very high demand piece, so if you don't have it on pre-order, get it now. Uh, and then our Celebration 6 exclusive Blue Clone Trooper statue. We wanted to do something really special. Normally we don't do a statue as an exclusive for Comic-Con, but I, or I mean for Celebration, but you know, honestly, there's such uh, there's such passion for clones in particular. Uh, we thought that this would be a really cool piece, and we wanted to be able to offer this to the hardcore Star Wars fans. And you know, that it just seemed like a logical choice. I have a question about the uh, the statue. Is it going to come with the pieces like the mini bus did? This is not a deluxe. This is going to be a static piece. Okay. Yeah. So, and then of course we have, you see two clone troopers right over here, the white clone troopers. Would you believe me if I told you they were the same piece, just different configurations? They are deluxe. They come with interchangeable heads and arms. Nice. Oh yeah. And this is available for pre-order now on our website, but it's two different configurations of the same piece. That's really I nice. love this stuff, because we can do stuff like that. That is so cool. How could you not like that, right? So The Walking Dead is actually a brand new license for us. We're just announcing that we've got it here at Comic Con. We've had it for a couple of months, but we really wanted to make sure that we had some really kick-ass stuff to show off before we announced it. Now you guys remember the army men of your childhood, right? The ubiquitous green and tan guys that you know you set up all over the house. And then you melt. Yeah, and then you melt them in the sun, or your dad would step on them as he's walking, you know, you know, in the middle of the night. It's like the how the D4s are the ultimate caltrops. Well, that little machine gunner, that little machine gunner would always step in the damn foot and walk around. Well, we decided that inspired by that, we would actually do a line of walkers. So will it come as a complete set, or they come as... They will come as a bag. They will come as a bag. You will get a, an assortment of them ready to take on your army guys. How many unique ones are there? It's still TBD at the moment. Um, you know, these are all, there, there may be more sculpts, but this is what we're starting with, and we're doing a variety of, of uh, green, tan, and gray. And I think we've got three, four unique poses in there. Four unique poses, and basically what it is is it's just like the other guy. It's just like your old school army. Man, you got your crawler, you got your 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 bazooka guy, you got your machine gun nest guy. You can just line them up, have them go at it. You know, put them in the backyard, set up some dioramas. I would actually, what I want to do is I actually want to challenge collectors. Once we release these, I want to start up a Tumblr of people and their dioramas that they set up with these and uh, do caption contests and stuff like that. I would love to have you guys participate. And there, there's a lot of creative people out there, so you're gonna yeah. have some interesting ones. I, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want to challenge the gentle giant. Uh, uh, community, collecting community to do their worst with this. The 
10 or 12 inch line. Incredibly popular. Oh my gosh, we had no idea just how much this was going to go nuts when we, or how big this was going to be when we re revealed it at Comic Con two years ago. The Kenner 12 inch line started with the Stormtrooper and it's just blown up since then. Uh, we've got the Gamorrean Guard as our PGM gift for this year. Uh, Lando is going to be our C6, other C6 exclusive. That's the second C6 exclusive we've got. We've only got two. But it's Lando because it'll be in Orlando. Thank you, Ashley. That's a wonderful pun. <laughs> uh, and then we've got over here um, Greedo, of course, Panda Baba, R2 and C3PO. The Blue Snags, of course, is our C3, or not C3, um, SDCC exclusive. It's been a long day, can you tell? Um, you know, we've got all these guys in the famed, uh, in a blown up version of the famed Cantina playset. Is that going to be for sale? Yes, it is. Amazing. Oh, yeah. You heard it here first. We are releasing a, a scaled Cantina playset for your 12 inch uh, Kenner line, for your 12 inch Kenner collectibles. So now, you know, I, I walk into the offices here at General Giant and I see everybody's got their sets up on the walls except me for some reason. Apparently, I don't get any. But, uh, you know, everybody's got in product development has their stuff up on the walls, just lining the walls, and they all look so awesome. Now they've got a new way to display them with this. And actually, Here's a little something else I'm going to give you guys an exclusive tidbit. I'm going to run a contest as soon as Comic-Con is over. We're going to give away the full model. Just, just the Cantina playset, but we're going to give away the Cantina playset floor model. So look for it on our Facebook or on our Twitter soon after the show. So I had a few questions last year, and you uh, hinted at some things that might be coming, such as something that may or may not be double telescoping. Yeah, that is still pending right now. There's, um, you know, we, we are we are all about pursuing this line to the fullest extent, uh, but we don't know if we're going to be able to get around to the doubles telescoping or not. Uh, the big thing is is finding the source material. The big thing is is that uh, one of the, one of the things about this line is that uh, Hasbro, who owns the the Kenner, uh, you know, uh, brand at this point. They, have, they were not able to provide us with any prototypes, and neither was Lucas. We, we had no original reference to go off of in order to, uh, in order to uh, develop this line. And Steve Stansweet didn't swoop in and come from his personal collection? He did not. <laughs> but our guys at General Giant, the staff, contributed the pieces from their own original collections, and that's what we scanned to use to blow these up. So having a double telescoping piece actually requires someone to provide us with one to scan to get the ultimate likeness. So if you actually have a double telescoping uh, you know, figure, oh, let us fine. know. Email me. It's greg at generalgiantstudios.com. Email me and let me know. And we may uh, we would love to talk to you about scanning it so we can actually do a service to the world and provide them with a 12-inch version or a blown-up version. So it's all, it's all about the source material. Some of those harder to find ones like the Yak Face, the UK only Yak Face, we would love to get our hands on one of them. That's about the only, uh, but we'd actually have to have the original material to uh, scan in order to actually create it, to create the blown up version. Because we don't want to do anything half assed. These are all uh, originals that were scanned and blown up. So, and these are all out of people's personal collections, employees of the company. Uh, Dave Myatt from Rebel Scum, thank you very much for contributing uh, your figures. You helped us out. I forget which, you, you helped us out with a couple of them. I think it was uh, one of the Yodas recently that you helped us out with. So, thank you for that. And, uh, you know, thank you to any of the other collectors who are out there, members of the community that have helped us out as well. You guys are a key part of making this happen. Yeah. You know, I, I bought the, the, the original ones and I was, before I even yeah. saw them in person, I, I was like, these look pretty cool. And then opening them up and then how they're resealable oh, yeah. is, is, they're so really neat. Like, well, I was we, I was impressed the detail. Well, thank you. And we really wanted to make sure that we were offering an experience for our collectors, something that would allow them to take them out and play with, but also respect the fact that these are collectors and limited edition and be able to give them away to be able to preserve them still so that's why we made it resealable it's, it's that kind of attention to detail that I think we really want to uh, you know do for the community and give them a real complete experience here you know? um, what, are, what are the upcoming figures in the line well Greedo is coming out very soon he'll be really soon Panda Baba Red Snags um, we've got R5D4 uh, Hammerhead's coming out Mando like I said it's a C6 exclusive Gamorrean Guards the PGM exclusive, and we actually just revealed, uh, if any of you guys follow Toy Hunters, the Power Droid made a surprise appearance on Jordan Hembro's desk. Very nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that was a little sneaky thing that we got to arrange. So follow Toy Hunters, guys, because first off, it's a fantastic show. And I can also tell you that um, 
there's a certain piece of legend that never saw the light of day that we are working that we are working to actually bring the light in the 12-inch line. And that's all I can say. It is the definition of Braille. We finally get to reveal these. Warner Brothers had a gag order on us. We couldn't reveal anything for the longest time. And we can only reveal four pieces right now. But this is going to be the tip of the iceberg of our Hobbit. Florin is our Comic-Con exclusive. The long-awaited Dwellin minibust, uh, which is our PGM exclusive. Gandalf and uh, Gollum. So psyched to be able to get these out. You've all seen the Colossal Samurai before, but here he is, live in the stone. Uh, I'd say in the flesh, but that'd be a little incorrect. So in the stone, I guess would be the right way to say it. Um, and then getting back into our Walking Dead stuff, this is a this is a first and a new thing for us in doing a replica prop. We're doing a replica uh, King County Sheriff Grimes badge. Now we know that there are cosplayers out there that would just die for something like this, and we said, "What the hell? Let's do it. Let's make it." And believe me, it's actually kind of tough to do anything that's a replica law enforcement thing. I, some people are a little uncomfortable with the idea of us doing this, but we're going to try it anyway. So it's the re replica sheriff's badge and nameplate. And then the first mini bust in, in the line is going to be the Well Walker. This is the walker that gets trapped at the bottom of the well uh, from season two of The Walking Dead. For those of you who watch the show, obviously, you're probably knowing exactly what we're talking about. This is pre-gory explosion, spoiler alert. Um, and then we also have a line of Walking Dead, uh, or we have Walking Dead collectible bookends coming out as well. Uh, wrapping it up real fast, we know you've seen them before, but let's go over them again. We've got our Year 7 Harry, and our, year, our PGM exclusive Year 7 Voltmore. Uh, and actually, you can seven right here. This is a unique piece. Uh, this is a character designed by Kevin Dart, who did the uh, promotional art for Honey Trap, and we wanted to promote his original character. Uh, and yeah, he, you know, Kevin, Kevin does some incredible art. We're very fortunate to be working with him on the Honey Trap line. It's so exciting to be able to have, uh, to be able to collaborate with him. And of course, you know, we would love the idea of being able to take one of his pieces and kind of make it into our own too. Putting our spin on it. And yeah, like I said, it's just been a pleasure working with him. So yeah, that's uh, the General Giant booth this year, guys. And thank you all for coming out and taking the time. I know I've been talking years off. I hope it's not been too boring. Yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure.